Hi, this is Bob from Wams Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to run the Silverlight version of the Redicker Gradebook in Chrome. So we know that there's been an issue with the Silverlight version in Firefox as of the past month here. Firefox updated their browser and now it no longer accepts Silverlight for some reason. So um, there is a hack you can do in Google Chrome to make that your browser for accessing the Silverlight version of the Gradebook if you prefer that over the beta version. To do so, the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to install the Chrome extension IE tab. To do that, when you're in Chrome here, open up a new tab, and you're going to click on this apps in your bookmark bar. If you don't see their bookmark bar here in Chrome, you can open it up by clicking on the three dots, then bookmarks, and then show bookmarks bar. Once you have the bookmarks bar open, you can click on apps and you'll see a list of Chrome apps here. And the one on the top left hand side should be web store and open up the web store. And we're going to install a new extension and that extension will be IE for Internet Explorer. Okay, you're gonna see the top three hits for extensions here. If you have a Windows device, you're gonna install the IE tab by clicking on Add to Chrome. If you're on a Mac, choose the second one, i.e. on Chrome. It's got a poorer rating, but it works on a Mac, whereas this top one doesn't, but it, and it works just the same as I've tested for the Redeker Gradebook. So here, I'm on a Mac, so I'll choose the second one. I'll click on Add to Chrome, click on Add Extension, and you see in just a couple of seconds, I now have the i.e. Chrome extension installed. The way this extension works is that the moment you click on the IE tab icon, the tab that you're currently in will mimic the Internet Explorer environment. So here I'm in plus portals. Right? And if I were to go to gradebook here, Silverlight, you'll see that, oh, yep, Chrome does not allow Silverlight. Okay, you need to use Internet Explorer. This will be your prompt to click your extension. When I click the extension, it will now mimic the Internet Explorer environment. Uh, I'll log in with Google, sure. Let's try that again, gradebook, Silverlight. Click the button. And now you see that the gradebook is loading. Okay, and then you can navigate between your different gradebooks by clicking on the gradebooks here. All right, and that's it. So if you prefer the Silverlight version rather than the beta version, you can hack Chrome by using the IE extension. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. Thanks for watching.